Hey guys, I'm sat at my desk today so I can show you how I achieve some of the tones that I've been getting in some of my recent videos, particularly from Matteo Sato fans and John Mayer fans because this tone is kind of influenced by those two. that I should mention is my guitar because the pickups in particular play a huge role in that. So let me grab that. Here we are. Ah. So I've got a full set of DiMarzio pickups here. I've got a tone zone in the bridge, a cruiser bridge in the middle position because it just sounds a little bit too weak for my preference in sort of a bridge pickup. I want a nice fat chunky bridge pickup which is why I chose the tone zone and then this is sort of a lightweight bridge pickup if you like which is in the middle position and then a beautiful uh, cruiser neck in the neck position that sounds great the neck is probably my number one most used pickup followed by the bridge and then the middle of course but the middle has some really sweet tones I never used to use a middle pickup but particularly in sort of Matteo Sassato style things I quite often use that middle pickup so from my guitar that is plugged straight into my audio interface, which goes into my Mac, where I use a piece of software called Bias Effects. Let me talk you through that now. So Bias Effects is just a sort of plugin that you can use with your digital audio workstation. I've got Logic Pro open here, and if I click here for Bias Effects, this is kind of the default rig that comes up. Such a mess, there's so much going on. But I'm gonna show you the tone that I use. Uh, so here we go. This is the naked sort of tone that I use. So the first thing in the chain is the Snakes Lead 800, which is actually a Bias FX original amp. Um, it's not modeled on anything in particular. So here's the head, you can see all the settings there, the gain sort of just before midway to give a sort of light overdrive to my tone. Everything else is pretty much 12 o'clock except for the master volume. And the cab looks a bit like that. So yeah, there we go. Not much to say about that really. Um, then it goes into a compressor. Some pretty standard settings here. You can check that out. And then we have an EQ. Now the EQ is probably one of the most important parts in this effects chain. And that's because it kind of highlights those good frequencies that I want. And without it, it kind of makes the tone sound a bit flat maybe. So yeah. Uh, next up we got some reverb and delay and these vary a lot depending on the kind of sound that I want. So you can see currently I don't have a lot of reverb and I don't really have a lot of delay but these are just enough to make my sound a bit more ambient than it would be without. So that's my sort of basic sound which is great for sort of demonstrations or a very low gain piece of music and if I want to increase the overdrive on that for more rocky based stuff maybe, then I just up the gain. So from 12 o'clock to one o'clock to two o'clock, that kind of thing. I wouldn't really go any farther than nine, um, you know, three o'clock, because I find this snake's lead quite responsive. I sort of play between um, maybe 5.5 and nine. And then as I increase the gain, I also back off the presence slightly. That's the only variable in my sounds from sort of rhythm to an overdriven lead sound. I've also experimented with a drive here before the snake's lead. These are the settings that I use and it sounds pretty dope. I quite like it, but I don't often use the drive. I just use the inbuilt gain in the amp. And if I want more, then I just increase the wetness throughout the track in the reverb and delay. So maybe I'll up the reverb slightly to around about two. I wouldn't go any farther than that because it just sounds too big. I'm using a plate reverb, by the way. I think this plate sounds beautiful. Usually I go for hall reverbs, but in this instance, plate sounds great. And then for the delay, you can see the delay time at about 580 milliseconds. And by default, the feedback and the effects level is about one. So that would just give me a slight bit of wetness. And then if I want to increase that for a killer lead tone, then I'll increase both of those to 
somewhere around about four. And that'll give you a great tone for some of Matthias's jams. So I think Somebody Else, which is a 1975 track that Matthias jammed over, this is the tone that you want for that. And Kyoto Jam is another one, which this tone will sound great for. Now to save you the work of dialing all of this stuff in, I have a preset available on the Bias FX Tone Cloud. If you want to check that out, you click the cloud in the top left here, and you type in my name, Daryl Sims. Boom, there we go, Daryl Sims Low Gain Leads. This is my sort of naked sound, and then if you want to increase the overdrive or increase some of the wetness behind it, then you can go ahead and do that. Just remember my top tips. And one more thing that I should really mention is that this tone works on the standard edition of Bias FX. It's very important because when I bought Bias FX, I got the standard version, and I kind of realized that it was very limited. There's not a lot you can do on it. And I kind of wish at the time that I got the professional version because it was a little bit cheaper. They had it on a discount. But actually, I'm not that bothered because I've got this tone now. This one's good. This is kind of the only tone that I like with the standard edition. But if you have that little bit of extra buck, then I definitely recommend getting the professional version because you obviously have a lot more freedom and you'll be able to download heaps of different tones on the tone cloud because some tones don't work with the standard version, obviously, because the amps aren't included. So just make sure you're aware of that if you consider buying bias effects. So that's all I'm gonna share with you today. I hope you like the tone. If you like the video, then make sure you leave a like. It really helps the channel grow, and I appreciate your support and feedback. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.